Chicago, that toddling town. It is well past due that we put an end to this dynamic that somehow not make it. Look, demonizing children is wrong. Do you understand the risk that young people take just because they're young? Sometimes they make silly decisions. They do. Many here jumped off the red line at Belmont, soon blocking traffic and jumping on cars. No violence, but disruption and damage. This smashed up car is just one result. They're young. Sometimes they make silly decisions. I see like a riot happening down the street and uh, just sort of surrounded by cops that are just like watching. I went up to one of the cops and I said, my car's in there. And he looked at me and he said, you're And um, I was. I was really like faultless and without a choice. Dominic and his partner had just bought the car as a Christmas gift to one another. And now it's in the shop with $15,000 worth of damage. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Everyone was like, well, you got to call your insurance, and we did, and they were like, oh, you don't have the package that covers mob insurance. The disappointment doesn't end there. When police ask CTA to help slow the flow. CTA to help slow the flow. Do something. Wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, yeah. wobble. People were horrified by the extent of the damage this morning. Shoe prints on cars, hoods dented, windshields broken. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. Grace Rowan said she even heard gunshots and was too scared to leave her apartment. It has been very chaotic. And as somebody who's lived in Lakeview for honestly the past three years, it's very scary to see how things have changed over time. People are hoping the city steps up to prevent this from happening again. Looks fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Chicago to come alive. Come alive, Chicago.